fish keepers. This is Danny with Danny Aquatics. I'm gonna try to remove some. I won't be able to do it all at one time, so it's gonna be probably a couple of segments of trying to get all this, trying to eliminate a lot of the gravel and going back just to sand. And I think I put too much gravel, the peat gravel, in here a long time ago. <clears throat> so. I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to try to remove a lot of that out of there. I got a little scoop that I came up with. It's all it is is just probably a a cat scoop or something to remove their waste and stuff. I, I bought it brand new and I straightened it out and I put it on a piece of uh, I don't know a little pipe. So with this here, I can filter out most of all the sand with it and then just dump the, the rocks out of there. So I'm going to try this, so keep your fingers crossed, and uh, it's going to be a long process. So I'm going to do this in segments so I can uh, take a break there once in a while. Let me get my bucket. And I'm going to start on this end more than likely. Remove the tops. Put that over there. I guess if I can, I'll try to dump it all in here as I'm going. This is going to be fun. Try to get it back and tight. We'll see how this works. But I've got to sift the sand out of it. I want to get the sand out. I don't want the gravel. I think the holes are big enough to remove a lot of the, the gravel out of here. And just just take the leave the sand and remove just the gravel. What it seems to do is just gonna dirty up, it's gonna be stirring up a lot of substrate here, but I guess if I do it just a little at a time until I clear it out. And then I can come back and I can add more sand to uh, make the difference here of removing a lot of this uh, gravel out of here. All right, it's going to take a while. I don't want to completely disassemble and dump the whole tank just to redo the, the bottom. And I think, I think I can get away with it. Removing a majority of it like this, this is going to be really time consuming. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my other, my other paddle. I got one like this. I usually use this to level. When the, the fish are moving all the uh, substrate around, I'll go in there, I'm going to do a water change, and I'll level it with this. And I think I'm going to have to use this to kind of push it into the scoop. It might be easier. And I want to say I used like three bags of pea gravel on this project a while back. So there's quite a bit in here. And that's going to take me probably several attempts to get a lot of this out of here. But I think it'll be worth it. All right. Move some stuff around. 
And we'll continue this. And I'm going to take a little break. i got to do some stuff inside. And uh, I'll start filming again. And uh, we'll make this video. <clears throat> what I did, I, I started piling it up. Kind of making a, a debris field here. Make it a little easier maybe to pick up a majority of it. So that will keep me busy right there for about another 30 minutes. So that will give me almost halfway. I probably have to still come back and do a second round and try to get a little bit more out of there. But if I can get, I'm sure I'll get two bucketfuls, two five-gallon bucketfuls out of here. I'll be pleased. And then I can come in and maybe put about another uh, 50 to maybe 80, about 80 pounds of, of uh, sand back in here and build this back up uh, just with sand. It, it probably helped to cover up a lot of the other pea gravel and stuff and this way it'll, I'll have more sandy uh, substrate than just rock substrate. So, Alrighty guys, I appreciate y'all joining us and uh, we'll keep going and uh, I'll keep recording. Hi guys. I've got about three quarters of a bucket, a little bit over half so far, just from this side, almost half of the area. It's cleaned up a little bit better than, I, I see more sand now than I do just uh, that wash rock or uh, peat gravel. Because this is, before, that's what it looked like. Nothing but gravel, basically showing all the time. So I'm going to do it before, and this is more likely what it's going to look like for now until I get some more sand and build it up. i really like to see more sand, so I just got to keep cleaning a little bit more at a time. And I don't want to get no deeper than that, and then I'll just spread some more sand in here and top it off, and I think it'll be fine. As long as just a few pebbles are showing, I'd really prefer having more sand than, than too much, too much of this, and having to sift through all that stuff constantly. So, alrighty, guys, we'll keep going. All right, guys, I got just about everything I'm going to get for now. I'll probably just add maybe I'll probably bring two, uh, about 80 pounds of sand wash it up and then kind of cover a lot of this up and build it up at least a half inch all the way across with about 80 pounds of sand so I took all the decor out the plants and the rocks I'm cleaning those off and let this stuff settle probably for at least 30 minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back in probably have to add some water I ended up with about a five gallon bucket of uh, pea gravel and that's probably I want to say, oh my gosh, probably about at least 80 pounds. There was two 40 pound bags. They, were, they came in 40 pound bags. So I, I was able to extract at least two bags out of the bottom of this aquarium. So out of the 330 gallon. So I'm going to let these guys, I'm going to have to add some prime stability and uh, some, uh, uh, what is the other one called? Uh, it'll come to me. Stress guard. That's the one. I'm going to be adding some stress guard. and uh, But i got to let this stuff settle. Let, let it filter a lot of this. Because this thing does cycle about six times to one. So it should, uh, should be able to move all of this water in about 30 minutes. And then I'll have to do a filter change in the sumps and stuff. So... I might have to add water, more likely, because I took out at least 80 pounds out of the water. So that's going to lower the water level in the sump probably to about, I would say, at least 4 inches. So, alrighty guys, we'll get back with you in about 30 minutes. We'll put all the decor back in. And uh, the geophagus are kind of loving it now because there's more sand than rock. So I'm, I'm happy for them because they can really, they can keep it clean as well as they sift through it all the time. It gives them a little bit more. Alright guys, we'll get back with you in a little bit and uh, we'll put up this thing and uh, clean it up and by tomorrow this thing ought to look beautiful. Alright guys, thanks a lot. Guys, 
I just put the uh, decor back in. Still a little cloudy from all that stirring up. It's only been about 30 minutes. So, got all the boulders back in here. But eventually all this will clear up. But I'm liking it a lot better now. But I'm still going to go get at least one, at least 50 pounds or maybe two 40 pound bags of, of sand. And uh, add about... I don't know, maybe at least an inch, maybe half inch of sand all the way around the bottom. But I think it's a little better looking than all that rock, all that peat gravel. Now there's a, a little bit more sand showing and uh, gives them something to sift through. And uh, I think it looks better. All right, guys, I appreciate y'all joining us uh, doing this cleanup and altering the, uh, the substrate on this tank and uh, if you haven't liked and uh, this is your first time man we really appreciate you subscribe to this channel and we thank you and god bless you guys and y'all have a wonderful day take care all right bye this is danny with danny aquatics hope y'all are having a wonderful day guys y'all have a good one and we'll see y'all on the next video take care all right bye